What's up everybody, I'm John. I'm Isaac. And we are Cars and Cameras, and we have had fuel problems with the 750 since we got it. Um, it came with can and pods on it, and you guys in the comments have been saying, just put the stock air, back, air box back on it. Uh, these carburetors need vacuum in order to work properly. So when we got this engine, it did not have an air box. I knew that was gonna be a problem. We're gonna work around it. So that means today we're making all kinds of changes to our fuel system to try to fix our running issues. Right off the bat, our fuel tank, we're not getting enough fuel flow coming out of the fuel tank. So we're gonna be mounting a new fuel tank on it with better fuel flow. Uh, we need to sink the carburetors. We have a tool to do that. We're probably gonna to need to do more jetting and we're also going to have to build an air box because we don't have one and the ones I saw online were extremely expensive. So those are the things we're gonna be tackling today. But first, two bits of good news. One, our buddy Owen is gonna be- Charles. Our buddy Charles is gonna be joining us today. And second, uh, it'll be fine hats are back in stock and we chose a different style uh, with performance moisture wicking technology. So that means in the hot summer sun, uh, they will sweep the sweat off your head and keep you cool. Uh, check them out at a link in the description of this video or go to cars-cameras.com, pick one up and support the channel. So Charles is here. Say hi, Charles. How you doing? <laughs> um, so I, for one, know that there's a lot of science that goes into the, de the design of an air intake. So what are we gonna do, Ike? We're gonna do what we do best, wing it. And build one out of PVC pipe. Yes. We're starting with a three inch pipe of PVC, a Go Power Sports air filter, a cap on one end and a reduction on the other end. So we actually have choices. We have three inch down to two inch and then we have three inch down to one and a half or smaller. So the nice thing about having two different options for reduction on our air intake is that we can actually tune the restriction. So here's our three inch PVC pipe. We're gonna drill four holes in it feed our rubber hose in, and that's what's gonna to connect to the carburetors. That's, that's perfect. There's two inches right there on the outer edge, so you may want two and a half to three. So, there. silicone in some places. We're building a cradle for the fuel tank to sit in. To hold it up. And it's going to be elevated a little bit so we can try to get the bottom of the tank level with the carburetor so there won't be any issue with fuel going uphill. Fuel does not like going uphill. We'll tack it. Yeah. And then if we don't like the way it is we can just Break it apart. Right. In there. Yeah, it's it's close. Right. If you weld that hole and all the way around that, that's I a wonderful gusset. I think it'll be great. All right. Cool. I was thinking that we could uh, weld that handle back on and this tank is gonna be strapped on this cart. And if someone runs out of gas somewhere, we can unstrap it, grab the handle, bring it with us and fill it up. Or uh, if we run out of gas or something, we can just take the tank off and pick it up, take it to wherever we need to go and fill it up. Yeah, I think and it's a brilliant idea. You almost put awesome quick disconnects on the fuel lines. Yeah, something but, like that. Yeah, something to where it's you know where you're not using hose clamps and having to break out tools just real quick. That'd be yeah. cool. That Very would well be it. cool. So 
So our fuel tank mount is welded in, so we can go ahead and drill a hole for our fuel neck. Eastwood sent us over their seven piece hole socket, and it comes with one inch, one and an eighth, one and a quarter, one and three eighths, and one and a half inch hole saws. So check out Eastwood's seven piece hole socket at a link in the description of this video. Let's get this cut. Got it. say that you probably do it I'm gonna have, probably have to go half oh okay oh. all right that was all the fuel flow we will, we were getting out of that tiny tank into all four of those carburetors and that is not gonna do it now, we all think that that is not gonna be enough air coming into this engine. Um, but remember, we can add another one on this side and then there are more things we can do to tune it in the future. So we got our fuel tank taken care of, we got our air box taken care of, probably gonna have to tune it. Ike is gonna go for a ride real quick. We still need to sync the carburetors, which we forgot all about until we were like ready to ride. And now that we're ready to ride, we're just gonna do it. So. I'm not planning on sinking those carburetors anytime soon until that glue firms up real solid on that intake. It okay. ain't going to be today. Okay. Mike, is it just me, dude, or it just doesn't like coming around that corner? No, it's just, it's not that. It's, uh, we have just issues with carburetors. Issues with a piece of metal in the bottom of the shoe. And so you're putting on the bigger? Uh, bigger, bigger everything. Okay. See if it helps at all. Let's see what this does.
fucking cool, man. You could send that to Ike. <laughs> All right, uh, so what do you say? What do I say? Yeah. I'm gonna try a burnout. Burnout? Let's do it. Oh, clutch is sticking. Yep. Uh-oh. I'm having trouble with that. Well, we can fix that. But, dude, it seems to be running a lot better. Is it like... Uh, I don't know, but it's uh, pretty cool. I got have more air power? on the back than the front. More air on the back than yeah, the front, yeah, okay. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I was afraid of that. So, yeah. if we hit any, like, huge bumps, she might want to do that number. Yeah. So, no hill jumping with this thing. Yeah. She's just, she's just cooking off... Uh, yeah, see, I can feel dust. it getting a little warm back there. We really need a heat shield. Yes. So, man, I re wish, wish I had a place to do a donut. You think it's running better? It's, it's running better. It's definitely running better. The warmer it got, the better it was running. Okay, great. Um, it doesn't seem to like all the way wide open throttle. Yeah. But like three quarters of the way, she wants to go. Like go go. Pretty good. Like go 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 or. Well, I mean, Our wheels off the ground what, go. Wasn't it sounding better? Yeah, yeah, it was sounding better. Yeah. Woo! So after Ike was done, I hopped on for a couple of laps and I killed the ignition switch. Is that what happened? No, nah, the uh, starter relay. The starter relay. And then Ike hit it with a hammer and it seems to be working again. But uh, yeah, it is uh, a lot better than it was. But it, it likes about three quarter throttle and any more than that, it seems to break up. And in our experience in the past, uh, that's a lean issue, at least on like the 212s and other things we mess with. Um, so we're probably going to need to do some more jetting. We have a tool here to sink carburetors so you guys have been like you need to sink your carburetor so we're going to be figuring out that out tonight um but i think we just the intake alone dude with that pod setup has actually helped a ton i'm gonna be honest i kind of really dig what we have going here it it's wild it is very very cars and cameras <laughs> it's very diy <laughs> yes. looks like a bird house You put this up against the carburetor, the air is sucked through, and you can adjust this little, I'm gonna call it a, a plate, and as you adjust this, this little, it'll create a uh, uh, air flow through this little tube, and it'll make this little red BB yeah. float. Float. float ball. Yeah. yeah, and you wanna adjust it where it, I'm gonna say, you want to you want it to float about midway and you keep going to every single carburetor and you make adjustments until it all they all float in the middle before we start tuning i'm going to make sure that all our like idle jets are set at the same mixture mixture they're they're so far they're three and a half turns out and I'm just gonna make sure they're the same. That might be too much, I don't know.
because like when you go wide open throttle which is opening up the butterflies even more and it runs worse it's because you're introducing more air and not enough fuel is getting in and it's blowing fire out of the headers i do know that they're a little on the short side but i'm betting that that, that that's about two and a half feet of length i don't think it should be blowing fire out uh so i, I really think it's lean dude and in so, terms of the carbs being synced uh they're pretty pretty close they're real close there's one that's a little out and i do know that it's always good to have them all the same but I'm at the point where I'm just like, we're probably gonna have to pull the carburetors off to, to uh, jet uh, the carbs. Jet the carbs. I'll look into it uh, with the carburetors off. Make sure all the butterflies cl are fully closed, all at the same time by eyeballing it with the light and stuff, and go from there. Set it by eyeball, and then we'll go to sync the carburetors some more. Uh -huh. All right, so we're out of time today. Uh, Ike is playing with his power tube. Um, we have the, uh, the carburetors are decently synced. We're at a point where we need to take them off and, uh, and jet the emulsion tube or the jet a little bit more, or, or open up the emulsion tube and open up the jet a little bit more. Uh, but we're out of time today. So we're gonna be tackling that next time. But I think uh, it's performing a lot better than it was last time just with our, uh, our power tube uh, intake. So we're hoping just a few more rounds of jetting and this engine will be running perfectly. Other than that, uh, we have some things on the steering we need to fix. Um, and we need to paint it, of course. We need to add a cooling fan, maybe some ducting, but we got the fuel tank done. And then after we do all that stuff, we can go to the drag strip, we can go to Busco Beach, we can put it up against our buddy Mikey's 800cc Razor. That's asking a lot. That's when the fun is really gonna, that's, that's when we're really gonna have a good old time. So we gotta thank our buddy uh, Owen, uh, Owen Wilson, I mean Charles. Charles. And Ike, of course, with his power tube. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching this video, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and of course, subscribe to Cars and Cameras for future updates on our 750 Cross Cart. This thing is a riot. Uh, Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out, and Isaac, it'll be fun. Still incognito? Yeah, why not? Look him up at uh, Owen uh, Wilson. Yeah, uh, or you can find me on Instagram at, at Charles Hassinger. There, there he is. There he is. Open the floodgates. <laughs> Show our buddy Charles some love uh, for coming out and helping us out. Be nice. Be nice, he says. <laughs> uh, anyway, help support the channel by picking up a t-shirt or a sticker or one of our new hats at cars-cameras.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Is that a periscope? It is. Boy, that thing shattered. Safe, safety glasses. It's a little bit late for it, but it's okay. So that didn't work? Uh, Not at all. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> that was bad.